always the first card that falls out before I pull my cards. Um, that is for me. Kind of the signs and um, the vibe that we're getting. So we have the Four of Wands. Wands is typically for your fire signs. But as always, we will refer to our introduction to Tarot by Susan Levitt. And we'll take a gander at Wands. First, we have the Knight of Cups. Now, this is for your past. So, you were very stagnant. Um, but you have done the work to fulfill yourself emotionally. Now, present, we have the Tower. Now, most people see the Tower and immediately get nervous. <laughs> um, the tower doesn't always mean something negative. It can mean change. So, let's get more on the tower. So we have the Emperor, Death, and Wands. So, more on the Seven of Wands. So it looks like you have a very big issue with always seeking control. Um, you're always wanting to be in control, getting very anxious energy from this. Um, so the Emperor and Death, there's going to be a change in this control. Something is going to happen that is out of your control and is really going to 
give you this eye-opening moment where you can't keep everything under your control. Um, it's just impossible. And then we have the Three of Wands. Yes, this is what you are going to need. It's not going to be a fun time going through whatever is coming for you, but it's going to be that eye-opening thing that makes you really um, come to terms with the fact that things do happen um, and that you need to let go of that control, loosen the reins a little bit, um, and just know that for one, you can't fix everything, and for two, that some things just have to happen. They do. They just need to happen for things to change and move forward. I'm getting a lot of, like, fear of change. You're a very... I don't mean this in a mean way, but you're a control freak. Um, you need everything to be just... And it's from ang... I'm just getting so anxious. <laughs> it's from anxiety. Um, and you have this need for things to always be just so. Now, this thing that is going to happen is going to come out of nowhere, but it ends up with the Queen of Wands. So it is what you need to really become that, um, lay, not laid back, but you're going to start understanding which battles to choose, which battles are worth your energy, and which things that are out of your control need to be left alone. Um, I'm getting a lot of anxious energy from you. Um, you need to just let it go. Um, this quarter, you're going to be doing there's a lot of work that you're doing. You're working on yourself emotionally in the past, and you're really moving forward with that. Um, the Knight of Cups is the spiritual Wheel of Fortune. So, you have done this work, and there's one last thing <laughs> that you really need to work through, which is this... You are always just trying to be in control, um, and we can't so many factors in this life, and we are one person. Let things happen. Take a breath, a very deep one, and just remember that you, you need to let the reins a little bit loose. Let a little bit of, and I know you hate it, I know you do, I know you do, but just just let things flow, let them go, and just be comfortable in the fact that you don't have to be in control. You are not responsible for everything, and some things, unfortunately, do just happen. But we end with the Queen of Wands. Um, Ace of Swords, Two of Pentacles, so this is going to make you really realize who is worth your energy, first of all. Ace of Swords, new beginnings, um, and new, um, sense of, just this new sense of control in a way that you don't have to be in control of everything. Um, you're going to be leaving this version of yourself behind, and it's going to lead to a decision with money. Um, three of Cups, yes. So, this whole thing of letting go of this control, you're going to be happy in the end. Um, None of these things come without work. Um, a lot of people, they'll get their readings and be like, well, 
it says that my future is this, so you still need to do the work. Um, the more that you push off this work, the longer it's going to take for you to reach this outcome. So, big, big advice here is to let things happen, release your control on certain things, um, and know that the work is going to be worth it. We're going to be going through some things this quarter, but that's okay. Everything will be just fine. Thank you so much for tuning in to this tarot card reading for what you have to expect in the next month from this full moon to the next.